Now we are learning about a very special type of a diagnostic image and this image is highlighting the vessels and this is called angiogram and this procedure is called angiography. How we do it? We insert a catheter that goes to our required vessel under the fluoroscopic guidance and then we inject a contrast material and we can highlight the whole arterial tree to look into any pathology or any obstructive disease. And right now what I'm showing you, I'm doing this procedure. I'm doing the interpretation for the celiac artery. And now, first of all, as I have mentioned, let me show it to you. We have inserted a catheter, which has gone all the way up. Let me make it a little big so you can see it very clearly. Okay, that's fine. So we can see that this is the catheter, which is going up. And you can see here it is entering. So this is the, this is my catheter. And where it is going? It is going into the celiac artery. So this celiac artery is a branch of my abdominal aorta. And it is one of the ventral branch, ventral unpaired branch coming from my aorta. And this branch is given up at the level of lower border of T12 and first lumbar vertebrae. And this artery, after its emergence, it divides into three major branches. And this artery is very specific because this artery supplies the four gut derivatives. All the structures who develops from foregut are supplied by this artery and this artery, as I told you, it has three major branches. So what are those branches? The first branch is the splenic artery. The second branch is my left gastric artery. And the third branch is my common hepatic artery. Now let's label one by one. So let's start with the splenic artery. So you can see there the contrast material. Let me give it another color. So you can see this splenic artery, which is running towards the left side. And this splenic artery is running behind the pancreas and its destiny is it has to reach towards the hilum of my spleen. And there it, in the root of, in the, in the hilum of the spleen, it divides into multiple branches and there it gives multiple short gastric branches. And these short gastric branches, their job is going and supplying to the fundus part of the stomach. And you can see these multiple short gastric branches, which has been highlighted. And this bunch, this cluster of the art arteries, which are running into the substance of the spleen. And this is my splenic artery. After talking about the splenic artery, now let's take another artery and that is my left gastric artery. And where is that? So you can see this left gastric artery, which ascends up and it is directed towards the lower esophagus. It supplies the lower esophagus and then it comes down. You can see that it gives multiple branches and then it's coming down around the lesser curvature of my stomach. 
And after this, we have another branch and let's use another color for this. And there you can see this common hepatic artery. There you can see this common hepatic artery. And this common hepatic artery, after having a short journey, it gives, it continues as hepatic artery proper and it gives gastroduodenal artery. This gastroduodenal artery, it runs behind the duodenum, the first part of the duodenum, and then it supplies along the greater curvature of the stomach. You can see this branch which is given up here. And then it gives superior pancreatico duodenal arteries and which are going and supplying in front and behind. And also it supplies to the duodenum and to the head of the pancreas. And now this hepatic artery proper, it ascends up. It gives the right gastric artery and after that, it, it divides into the left and the right gastric, left and the right hepatic arteries. And you can see these right and left hepatic arteries, they branch off and they are the one who are carrying arterial blood for my liver. And around 20 to 25% of the blood which reaches to my liver, that has been communicated via this hepatic artery proper and you can see its multiple branches and this is how it has been widely distributed within the right and the left lobe of my liver. There are so many branches which has been seen within this angiogram but I am only highlighting and I'm talking about the main three branches and that's why I use these different colors and the whole idea is to identify the splenic artery, left gastric artery and the common hepatic artery. And then you can see how they are supplying to their different respective areas. In this radiological image, you can also see these two structures. And what are these structures? These are the renal pelvises and the contrast material was injected into the and that contrast has gone into the excretory system of the body and you can see there it has reached to these two kidneys as we are not talking about that's not our subject for today's discussion we are only focused for the celiac artery and its main and major branches there are so many minor branches but I'm not going in these details. I hope we are clear so far.